guys, it's Shauna, and I have a pretty big haul to get through. So, most of it is, I guess all of it's just random stuff. But it's a lot of little things. Um, the first thing I'm going to share is a box from a friend. She was purging her supplies and just offered to ship just surprise boxes for the cost of a medium flat rate box. So I got all this stuff for $11.30 shipped. And that's quite awesome. It's not like brand new stuff, but I don't care. So the first thing that came in the box was the October Afternoon Midway journal cards. I know you've seen most of this, but I just wanted to go through and share all the stuff I got for that awesome price. Some My Mind's Eye buttons. These, let's see, it's a mix. Some journaling cards and some die cuts and chipboard in there from Studio Calico. <coughs> Excuse me. Some October Afternoon Daydream rubber charms. Those are cute. I think I had those and used them all up. And then from Sidewalks, the rubber charms. So that was probably enough to cover $11 already, but there's still a ton more. These Making Memories Shimmer Alphas. These are cute. I like those. And some Travel Girl. I guess these are like the tidbits. And these are cool. Um, Making Memories Children at Play. Sorry. Paper Dolls. And I think I'm going to pass these on to Maddie because she'll love them. She'll use them in her scrapbooks too. And some mistables. The butterflies. Three packs of thickers. Really cute. I love these peppermint ones. And then this really cute Allison Craft overlay. I don't think I have this. It's from Record It. It's a bunch of Polaroids. And some washi paper or adhesive sheets. Uh, some really cute ones in there. And then a bunch of ribbons and tapes. So some glitter tapes. Love the colors. Ooh, sorry. And these washi tapes. And the Travel Girl one there. And then I guess this is from IKEA. It's, I don't know, some kind of cording. I'm not sure. It looks like it says 100% paper. So, kind of like paper twine, I guess. And this looks like, sorry, it's loud. Some Project Life cards from Studio Calico. Bunch in there. I know they're older, so I won't like go into detail. Oh, I love that one. It's written in stars. So I think that's from Planet. Is it Planetarium? Maybe. I'm not sure. Could be. Maybe not. I think I actually had this and I tore it when I took it out of the package, so that's cool that I can use that now. And looks like a card kit from Studio Calico that she threw in there. Some hemp cord. Some cute little die cuts. I just love die cuts. Some envelopes. Some fancy pants. And the papers. Ooh, these are some that I like. Awesome. Some little yellow bicycle pins. And enamel dots! Yay! That reminds me, I um I saw a video yesterday. I can't remember who it is now. Is it Stars and Palm? I don't know. She had a whole her um, animal dots by color and I totally had to do that last night. 
So that was just a side note. Anyway, this cute little stamp here. Chevron. And, oh, more Studio Calico stuff. Oh, and some Pink Fresh Studio colored veneers. These ribbons. Some little wood clips. Adorable. Some kind of glitter buttons. Oh, those are nice. Maybe something I need to get because I don't have those. Yay, more dots. And these six by sixes left in there. What is this? It doesn't look familiar to me. October. Huh. I must have skipped that month. Okay, let me move this out of the way here and get my big pile. She sent a bunch of different 6x6 six six papers. I don't know what's all in here. I'm going to open it up, but there's a good thick pack there. And then some more leftover papers here. Oh, there's some stickers and some puffy stickers. Just a bunch of really cute little 6x6 six six papers. Oh, I remember this pink paisley. So that's a quite the stack there. And I was really excited. She sent me this stamp set in there too. I don't have this one anymore, but now I do. Woohoo! It's cute. That alone will cost more than the shipping. Yay for more cork asterisks. Awesome. Ooh, throwing stuff. Some Queen and Company drawbreakers. Or candy stripers, I guess these ones are called. Sorry. And some Maggie Holmes fabric frames. And last, the Maggie Holmes gold frames. So how awesome is that for less than $12? I am excited. And I still have more to share. So, first I have a small order from Vanessa. Um, from Butterfly uh, Reflections Inc. It's got some little gold clips. The wood grain enamel dots. Um, ephemera from Lemon Lush, I guess it is. I think I actually ordered something else, but I'm not worried about it. I'll just make sure she has the right thing so doesn't mess up her orders. Anyway, I'm battling. These gold leaves are really neat. Hmm. I love gold. And then these acetate sheets, which are really cool. Open them up. I don't know how I missed these in my first order, but these are super cool. Hopefully you can see them a little. Well, that one's stuck. Yeah, that one. Go on an adventure. These are really cool. Oh, I like them a lot. I might need another pack. Except I am trying to enforce a spending freeze on myself. So, less haul videos, hopefully, more layout videos coming soon. Ugh, stuck. Polka dots and stripes and arrows. Those are so cute. I love those. And I really need to actually do some project life. And those will come in handy. So that was my itty bitty order from Vanessa. And next, uh, boring stuff from Ross. But I do like to share in case it's something you guys want to pick up. This was the, I think this is like the original one from Amy Tangerine, the stitch template, but it was only $2.99, so I picked it up. And just some cardstock. This was $3.99, and it seems like it's pretty good weight, but it doesn't say. Just 100 pieces for $3.99, which I kind of wish I didn't buy because it's kind of cheaper to just go to Walmart and buy the 110 pound cardstock there, but oh well, too late. I'm not going to return it. And... Let's see. Simon's a Stamp has been having clearance, and I swear I can't stay away when they have that $5 off coupon. 
So this is a couple orders combined, and then I have another one coming, but it's small. So I think these were like a dollar, and I don't know what's left over there, but you can still go check it out, and if you want, use the coupon March 5 to get $5 off your order. So it's like $1.99 shipping. I got these for a dollar. Not sure how much these were, but not too expensive. So we'll be flying out of Hawaii in August, so I thought I could use this somehow. And get some pictures on the plane. I'm pretty sure this stamp set was like $3 and something, and one I didn't have. So I picked that up. It's kind of like a fall Thanksgiving type stamp, and it's called Thankful by Kelly Perky. And I got the die, the camera die from Kelly Perky. And this stamp set was three something. It's called, I don't know, oh, Objects of Love. So Simon says stamp. Exclusive. Really cute. And again, three dollars and something. This one's called Perfect Love. It has some scripty sentiments that are so pretty. Really like that. I picked up another set of these because they were a dollar for the gold alphas. I do know those are sold out. And I wasn't paying attention and I picked this uh, Spellbinders Presto Punch template up. But it looks like I'll be able to use it in a die cutter. I'm not sure. But I will test it out. It was really cheap. So that. And picked up this Mary Trees set. I think right now it's like under two dollars for this. When I picked it up it was only 50% off, but still a good deal, so. Also this 2014 die from Kelly Perky. And this set I got for $12.50. Again, I ordered when it was 50 off instead of 75 off, but now I think it's like six dollars and something. And it's normally like almost $25, so really super cute set. And it's bigger than the regular 4x6 sets. And lastly, picked up this Distress Glitter in Mode Lawn. Um, oh, I found another. Oh, well, let me show this first. I got these from Target. They have a new like wrapping section with a bunch of little boxes and bags and things. These are like a dollar each, so I got them for like wrapping racks. And they had little pillow boxes and gable gift boxes, so I picked those up. Got these from Julian.com. Had the long 10 inch ones and had to have these. I love these amplify scissors, so had to get those. And one more. Stop it, Ross. Produced some chalk markers. I don't know how these will work, but we'll try. They were $3.99. And then I found this Mayberry pad. I love this line. It's so pretty. I'm sure I have a bunch of it already, but it was only $5.99, so I thought, why not? They also had some Dear Lizzie Polka Dot Party, some older crepe paper, and... Some other paper, like, collection kits for $3.99, but I don't need them. And there's also some cardstock packs, like the colored ones. So that's it. I'm going to stop my rambling like I always get into at the end of my video. So thanks for watching.